and welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Special K. And I'm Catfish. And tonight we're going to talk about something a little different. Uh, we're going to be talking about the five reasons you should come attend the Bourbon Beyond Festival. So Catfish, what is the Bourbon Beyond Festival? So Bourbon Beyond is a music festival as well as a bourbon festival that is every year in Louisville, Kentucky. This is the third year that it is on, and it has grown every year since then. It has since gone from a two-day festival to this year. It's the first year bringing a three-day festival, so it's really cool to see it grow. This year, it takes place from September 20th through the 22nd. Now, what is it? It is the biggest bourbon festival in the world, as well as growing to be one of the biggest music festivals in the city of Louisville a city that has already had a good number of music festivals, which is really cool to see happening. Yeah, hence the reason why we're going, because we're Kentucky Brew Reviews, we mm -hmm. like drinking. Why would we go to the biggest bourbon <laughs> festival of course. in the world? Um, we're also huge fans of music. Yeah, so well, me and you, speci me and you mm -hmm. specifically, that's why we're doing this video, not like Radar or somebody. <laughs> um, all right, one more thing before we start with our number five. Um, like I just mentioned, uh, Catfish, uh, myself, and Radar will actually be there. So if you see us, um, anywhere in the festival, feel free to come talk to us. We will be giving out merch to anybody who recognizes us on the show. Um, and feel free to talk to us. We'd love to hear from you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we so, love seeing our fans out. All right, Catfish, what's our number five? So the number five reason is the brand new location. The past two years, it has taken place in Champions Park, off kind of the, the eastern part of the city, really close to the river. And it was a fun location. I went last year, and I enjoyed it. However, it rained really heavily, and it was really, it was easily flooded. Uh, There's a lot of problems with that. It ended up canceling the second half of Bourbon Beyond as well as Louder Than Life. Yeah, Louder Than Life was like the next week. Yeah, they canceled that as well. So the new location is the Highlands Festival Grounds. It's really close to the fairgrounds and near Kentucky Kingdom. Hopefully, it shouldn't have some of the issues with flooding that. Champions Park did. It's not right by a river, so yeah. <laughs> that, should, that should fix that problem, right? So yeah, hopefully that, that all works out. But I'm really excited to see how the new location is. I know that's also where they're doing Louder Town, Town Rising and, and Louder Than Life and Louder Than Life as well. So I'm really interested to see how this uh, new location just works with these uh, festivals. Yes, yeah. I mean parking's already going to be better because it is the fairground. Mm -hmm. So the fairgrounds has a ton of parking. Also, it's in a good location. So mm -hmm. like obviously we, we live in Louisville or we have lived in Louisville at mm -hmm. some point in our lives. Um, so there is a ton of stuff to do around there. Uh, probably within five, well, Kentucky Kingdom's literally right there. So if you want to go to like a, a theme park, that's there. Uh, or there's also uh, Fourth Street Live, mm -hmm. which also has a ton of live music, bars, uh, bowling, arcades. It's definitely, it's definitely more do. centrally located in the city, so you're able to spread out and do more stuff, especially with it being the weekend. Champions Park was a little bit further up the beaten path. You had a park and some fields, and it just kind of. It was just kind of a difficult to get to. Yeah. And, so and, I'm looking forward to and it. And mud. Lots of mud. Oh, yeah. my Ankle deep in mud. <laughs> yeah. All right, Catfish, what's our number four? So our number four are going to be the seminars, talks, and demos. These are where you will go and watch distillers and people in the bourbon industry talk about bourbon. Some of the ones that I'm most excited for are what is a master distiller? And whiskey's dark past. Uh, I'm really interesting. I'm really interested in seeing what uh, they're all about. Learning more about the process of making bourbon. Yeah, I mean, we all know how bourbon's made, but I know the barrel one specifically talking about the different styles of like mm -hmm. um, the different chars and stuff like that. That's that'll be a good one. I think I'm uh, interested in. There's one called uh, the Beer Drinkers Bourbon, mm -hmm. and I instantly like had to see what it was, and it's actually. Um, they're pairing bourbons with different styles of beer, which which sounds right up our alley. I, ne I never thought about having a glass of bourbon with my beer, but you know, we've I had guess lots of bourbon barrel aged beers. Yeah, but now we get bourbon and beer. So it's maybe it's something we should do on the show in the future. Maybe we should pair some bourbon with beer. I mean, maybe we'll I learn. Mean, yeah. We might learn a thing or two. Yeah. Our number three is going to be the food. So there are over 35-ish restaurants. Mm -hmm. They're going to be at Bourbon Beyond. Um, they're all local, which is awesome. So there's going to be like something for everybody from like seafood, lots of barbecue, mm -hmm. uh, hot chicken, stuff like that. I'd say the one I'm probably looking most forward to is probably like Boss Hogs or like Joel's or something along that line. Yeah. What about you? Uh, I've had the Boss Hogs truck a couple different times. They're 
on and around the city. We get them at work all the time. Mm-hmm. We have seen them at work, seen them close to campus. And then I love Joella's hot chicken. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it who does it? Fantastic. Do, do not get their hottest chicken. Uh, quick story: Me and Mingo uh, were going to a Primus concert, and we got their hottest chicken uh, with their second hottest. Mm. Needless to say, that concert was not enjoyable, <laughs> and it wasn't because the band was bad. Rookie moves. Yeah, you can't beat those pulled pork nachos from Boss Hogs. Got to get those extra jalapenos on there. Yeah, that's it's fantastic. I'm also really looking forward to Martin's barbecue. Martin's is good. I like Martin's um, barbecue. Yeah. Now. So, and there's a lot of places I haven't even heard of, and I've lived, mm-hmm. I grew up and lived in Louisville my whole life, so I'm looking forward to maybe trying some of those places. Mm-hmm. I mean, over three days we're gonna have. I mean, all yeah, that's all we're gonna eat. <laughs> yeah. Now it's time for our number two. Now, this is a hard one because it is a bourbon festival, um, but it's also like a music festival. We're gonna go ahead and pick uh, bourbon as our number two. Mm-hmm. Um, with all the different bourbons available there, you have uh, Evan Williams, Four Roses, Jim Beam. Um, Pretty much all your big staples, yeah, as well as ones bullet. that I've never even yeah, there's heard a of few before. of those. There's, I mean, last year I was seeing bourbons I'd never heard of before, but it's interesting to kind of see that exposure, not just the big, the biggest companies around, but some of the smaller. Yeah, I mean, if, well. you know, if you're not a bourbon guy or gal, whatever you're not into, they do a ton of mixed drinks, mm-hmm. a ton of cocktails. On, they're gonna beer. Mm-hmm. It's whatever you're into, they're gonna have. So uh, there's something for everybody. I'm sure, you know, if you don't like drinking bourbon, which, why would you go to a bourbon festival then? <laughs> um, they'll have, you know, Coca-Cola, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, they've got all kinds of good stuff. What are some of your favorite bourbons that you're excited um, to Specifically me, uh, I'm looking forward to uh, probably Four Roses, specifically, I hope they have Small Batch there. Um, Buffalo Trace. Um, and then, surprisingly, like, like Larceny is actually pretty good. We mm-hmm. did Larceny at another festival. Uh, and Arsene. it was really, really good. Larson is really good. I'm really looking forward to some of my staples are Maker's Marks, one of always going to be one of my favorites. Got, got lots of that back there. <laughs> lots of Maker's Mark. Uh, I had Angels in me for the first time ever last year at Burberry On, so that was pretty cool. So I'm excited to kind of see that again. I'm a big fan of Knob Creek. I like Bur- I like Bullet. I like. Gotta love that knob. A lot of them. <laughs> What's our number one, Catfish? So it's going to be a really big surprise coming from the two of us, but our number one pick is got to be the music. There's a lot of bands that I've never seen before that I've always wanted to see coming this year, as well as a couple bands who I have seen before that I'm really excited to see again. Yeah, I was, uh, the lineup's pretty good. Um, you got like um, the Foo Fighters for me as a big one. I've seen oh, the Foo yeah. Fighters previously. They put on a very long show, so I wasn't surprised they had like the last time slot mm-hmm. and then it's... They're they have go. like they have like a two hour long. They'll spot, probably go past more. that. They grow. They grow goes all out in those performances. I'm not. If you haven't seen the Foo Fighters, amazing. Yeah, I have not, but I'm looking forward yeah. to finally being given uh, a chance to see the. Foo Joan Jett's another one. She's mm-hmm. one I've always wanted to see. Well, in, in Black Hearts, there is um, a Live. I didn't even see Live on there until like recently, and I was I'm a super big uh, fan of Live. They had like a lot of amazing albums, and I think they just like got back together. Mm-hmm. So that'll be an awesome show, and Trey Anastasio, his side band, mm-hmm. is going to be pretty cool. I'm a big like Primus and Les Claypool fan. He's done a lot of stuff uh, with Les Claypool, like Oysterhead and stuff like that, and I really enjoy them together, so I'm curious to see some of his solo stuff. Anybody yeah. you looking for? I'm excited to see Trey Anastasio as well. Uh, I have seen, I saw about f- over four hours of Fish concerts this past <laughs> summer, so I'm really excited to see... <laughs> Uh, some of his other work besides just his work with Fish. Uh, I'm also excited for Green Sky Bluegrass. I've heard they put on a really fun show and I'm a big fan of their music. Also, I'm really looking forward to seeing the Flaming Lips. I've never I've seen, seen them before. I've never yeah. seen Flaming Lips before, but I am looking forward to finally getting a chance to see them. I've heard only great things about their shows. Yeah. Kurt Vile and the Violators. Me too. I've, I've seen, I saw him last year, and ever since then, I've just wanted to see him again. He grew on me, th- thanks to you, because you're always like, listen to this band, listen to this band. I'm like, all right, I'll, I'll check out Kurt Vile. And actually, I do like like him, so, um, which is a surprise, because normally it's really not my style of music. Mm. If it's not super weird, <laughs> <laughs> or metal, like, you know. Yeah, but he's pretty cool. I'm excited to see... ZZ Top. Oh, well, of, course. of course. It's like their 50th year anniversary yeah. or something. They've been doing it forever. John they put, Fogarty. They I mean, put my beard to shame, too, so it's like, got beard envy. Mm-hmm. John Fogarty and Robert Plant, I mean, they're, they're legends. It'd be great to see them. So I'm really just looking forward to a whole lot of lineup. And there's a bunch of bands I've never heard of before. Yeah. And I'm excited to just kind of go in just 
without any pre previous knowledge of the band, just kind of hear what they have. That's how I discovered a couple artists last year that I'd never heard of before, and then end up turning into really big fans of them. So. I mean, yeah, with over forty bands, I mean, there's got to be something for everybody. Mm-hmm. Like I said, th- there's something for me, and I have very uh, weird tastes in music. Uh, there's quite a few bands for me, so mm-hmm. I'm sure um, even Radar will find a band for him. <laughs> well, I mean, Robert Plant's there, so That's right true. up Radar's alley. <laughs> I think he's going uh, specifically for the Foos um, uh, because he missed them. Um, he was supposed to go with me when we I saw him last year, and he didn't go. So. So that's been our five reasons why you should go to Bourbon Beyond. I know we're really looking forward to it, and we're looking forward to seeing you guys there. And if you see us, come say hi. Come talk to us. We would love to talk to our fans. And you'll get some free merch. Free merch. So please make fun of Radar. It's yeah. my favorite thing to do. <laughs> yeah. Um, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to do more stuff like this on the channel, more bourbon festivals, more distillery tours, stuff like that. But you got to let us know if you guys want to see it. And that's our show. So I'm Special K. And I'm Catfish. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.